Hello and welcome back to Sales Funnels Made Easy. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly add a gradient to your buttons and click funnels. Now this is going to be really quick, really easy, but it can be a little frustrating and confusing if it doesn't work automatically. And I'm going to show you um, what to do if it doesn't work. So uh, where to make the addition, where to find and make gradient colors, what to do if it doesn't work, and how to change all the buttons. So before we get started, I do invite you to like, subscribe and ring the bell if the videos on this channel help you out. Uh, so make sure that you click the first link in the description. Also, if you want a free, more extensive ClickFunnels training course, a two week free trial and additional funnel. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so here I am in the sales funnel made easy funnel that we've been working on the last few days. If I click edit here, we're gonna just go in and we're going to make a button and we're gonna make some changes to it. So uh, first things first, let's go ahead and get a button. So we're gonna press the new element here. We're gonna go over on the right hand side and we're gonna click on button. We click on button, as you can see, it's blue. It's the normal standard color. What we're simply gonna do, and what I recommend that you do, is do a Google search for gradient CSS generators and all of these will pop up. The first one is cssgradient.io. And what we can do here is we can just copy this to clipboard. So now that we've copied it, we can go in and we can change the color. So let's jump back over to our click funnels here. And what we need to do on the left hand side, we need to go to settings, go down to CSS, custom C CSS. And then as you can see here, I have something that should work. But what we're going to type in is we're going to type in period EL lowercase capital button B U T T O N. Then we need an opening bracket and then we need a closing bracket. I like to do that ahead of time. So we paste that in. And if we close this, you can see that the color changed. So it's as simple as that. Now, what happens if let's say it doesn't work and I'm going to show you why it doesn't work. If we click the plus sign here and we create a new button and Let's say we want to, let's go over to themes. And if we go to themes and we change this to light, let's say, because it's built into ClickFunnel, sometimes this doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete both of these buttons right here real quick. Uh, I'm gonna delete this, click okay, and delete this one also and click okay. And then I'm also going to, it's called comment out, the CSS that we just put in. And to comment out, at the beginning, you need a, forward slash and then an asterisk and then at the very end if we have the asterisk and then forward slash there it comments it out so it makes it like it's not even there it doesn't even exist so if we close that and we click this plus sign under the element and we add another button as you can see it's a standard color if we go in here and we use the custom theme and let's say we'll do light for example and then we try and go back up and we go back to the custom CSS, this may not work. It may not take. And just to show you, we'll close that. As you can see, because we're doing the custom theme, it kind of overrides the, the CSS that we've put in. If this happens, the easiest thing to do, the fastest thing to do is just to delete this button. So if we delete this button here, delete that, click the plus there. And if we add a new button, as you can see, it automatically adds in the custom CSS. One other thing that you might want to be aware of is trying to add multiple gradient colors within a single page. This can, uh, you might run into some issues with that. And I'm just going to show you what you can do in order to find, uh, to, to do, to manipulate click funnels like you want. So I'm just going to, again, I'm going to comment this out and I need an asterisk here and the slash, go back up, slash first, then asterisk, and it's commented out so it's like it's not even there. Close that. If I click this plus button here, I'm gonna go button one more time, and then if I click on button, I'm just gonna make this a little wider so that you can see full width. Um, if we click on the gear icon or the widget, if we go in the bottom right-hand corner, there is a hashtag here, uh, or a pound sign, depending on how old you are. Uh, we press that button here, and this is gonna give us the ability to manipulate this actual button, so the individual button. What we would wanna do is we'd wanna copy this, close this, and then go back up to custom CSS. And what we could do here, and again, sometimes this doesn't work, unfortunately, 
Uh, it should work all the time, but you might run into a few challenges. So what we can do is I'm just going to paste in that right there. And if we close this, in theory, it should work. Here's how you get two different colors or multiple colors like you see on the screen. So if I click the plus sign right here for to add a new button, I click new button and it's gonna automatically default to our gradient that we added in. Maybe we want a different color for somewhere later on in, the, in, in our page. Maybe we just like having a bunch of colors. It doesn't matter. So what we need to do is first, let's go ahead and figure out a color. Uh, let's use this one. It's nice and easy. Next, what we need to do is we need to click on the widget here, the, or excuse me, click, yep, click on the widget, and then go down to the hashtag or number sign. And we're going to copy this entire thing. So we copy that, close that, we're gonna go back into our custom CSS. And as you can see here, you need to add this little piece of code right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paste that in, I need to add in the greater than sign. Uh, hopefully that's the greater than sign. And then the A, uh, letter A there, under lowercase. So then I'm going to, again, create a opening and closed bracket here. Jump back over to our website. And we're going to copy this to clipboard. And hopefully this works. So we're going to paste that in. And as you can see, when we close this, we have different colors. So what we've done in this video, we have made a global change to our button. We have made individual changes to our button. We have gone to a website, cssgradient.io. Also, we have, you can Google search gradient CSS generator and they will work. So if this video helped you out, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment down below that this video helped you out. Um, because I want to make sure that I'm solving problems and adding value. Once again, this is Sales Funnels Made Easy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.